Hi everyone, Mr D here. Welcome to my latest online PE lesson. Today we're going to continue with our tennis skills and we're going to be practicing serving and the most important part, I think, in serving, the ball toss. Now you may ask yourself, why is that the most important part? And it's a very simple reason, because when you actually practice the ball toss in tennis, the racket will be held in your strong hand. So you've actually got to practice throwing the ball up with your weaker hand. So I've got a couple of drills that I want you to practice. So all you need, as you can probably see I've got in my hand here, I've got my sock ball, or you can, because Ruby's just done there, taking my tennis ball. Good job, I've got a bucket of tennis balls here as well. Um, don't play with a tennis ball indoors, just use a sock ball. A sock ball is just as good, because what you need to do is, you can't see my feet at the moment, but I'll go through that with you when I move a bit further back. The key thing when you're practicing your surf to start with is your racket hand goes just above your head and all you're going to try to do with the sock ball is just throw it underarm upwards and catch it palm facing because what you're pretending to mimic is if you're actually going to hit the ball. Okay, so it just goes something a bit like this. You have your elbow bent to start with, just the hand in line with your head. And just practice throwing the ball and catching it palm down and try and make sure you're catching the ball slightly above or along with your head because remember if you're actually hitting the ball and you're catching it here the ball's already going down and when you play proper tennis the ball would need to go over the net so practice that until you're really confident with that then what you can do just come slightly further back hope your arm's still in shot and maybe extend your arm more this time okay so have a more a longer extension in your arm and throw the ball up a little bit higher. Hopefully you can still see the sock ball and practice that skill. Okay, remember with these short tutorials, pause them, go and practice the skill I've just shown you. When you feel confident, come back, play and continue through because this activity just progresses the skills bit by bit for you. Okay, now when you go to serving tennis, there's two ways you can do it. Okay, so what I want you to practice is what we're just doing here, throwing it up and keeping your hand above your head as if you were hitting the ball or start with your hand by your side and bring them both up together so as you come up your racket arm comes up as well okay so that's just slightly harder okay now one thing you need to do, I'm just going to come slightly further back what you need to do is you need to make sure you've got good balance when you're going to try to hit the ball so standing back here if you can see, I've got one foot in front of the other, and I'm as I'm, my racket is right-handed, my right leg is back, so my balance is on my left leg here. Okay, so make sure and make sure your feet are pointing forward, practicing this exercise. So I'm imagining the town is my serving line, and I'm just putting the ball up in the air. Okay. Right. Once you practice those skills and feel confident, then we're going to move on to the hand serve. So this time what I want you to do is actually to throw the ball up, hit it down, and of course the sock ball won't bounce, which is perfect. If you are doing this outside and you have a tennis ball, then practice with that. Now, this is the time where you can also, if you've got a brother, sister, and want to practice with them, then you can practice hitting the sock ball back and forth to each other. But I've got just a, a few sock balls here. So I'm just going to hit the sock ball towards you. So I'm going to have my hand start up here, throw the ball up, and hit it down. Just try and keep your arm nice and straight when you hit that sock ball. Okay, I've got a few more here. I'm going to do a few for you. So this time I'm going to have my hand by my side. And make sure you follow through with your racket. Okay, so just imagining what that would look like. So I have got a tennis racket here. Let's see what that would look like. Go up and down. See, so I'm just doing exactly the same action that you are doing with your hand. Now, once you've got confident with that, you can actually play play a little game. You can give yourself a little game. As you can see, I've got my towel here. So what I'm going to try to do is stand back, and I'm going to try and land the ball past the towel, just like that. So you can give yourself a little game and maybe set up a game with your brother or sister. The better you get, the more steps away from the serving line. 
Now I've got Ruby to zone. Ruby. No, I don't want to hit Ruby with my soft ball. She may chase it. And I managed to get it past Ruby. Okay. So just to recap what we learned, boys and girls. Remember, when you start to serve, start with your hand in line with your head. Extend your arm up. Don't underestimate how hard throwing the ball is with your weaker hand. Introduce a net. Practice serving over the net. And then maybe have a game with your brother or sister or your mum or dad. Stay, take it in turns to serve the ball to each other, going further and further away. The first person to five points wins. Okay, and remember, you must serve over. Anyway, that's been a great session today, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed that. Remember, practice, 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 because serving is a really, really important part in playing tennis. Till the next time, take care. See you soon. Bye for now.